Now the inspiring story of one young man. 19-year-old David Were lives in Africa's largest slum, where polluted water, disease and safety are daily concerns. He tells his story in his own words. I miss my father. I've not seen him for a very long time. I hope he's well. My name is David Were, and I live here in the Kibera slum. Kibera is the largest slum in Nairobi, Kenya and Africa, with a population of about one million people. I was born in a small village. We came to Nairobi in 1992 when I was two years old. My father began looking for work as a day laborer to earn our daily bread. Where we are now is just a small part of Kibera. It covers 2.5 kilometers. This is just a small section of the slum which continues to sprawl further on. It's really hard during the rainy season. Water overflows into the houses. There's not much we can do, so we just go out and drain the water. Because the water and food are very dirty, there are a lot of diseases such as malaria, cholera and typhoid. In the block where I live, there are 30 families, and we all share one toilet which is far away. So when you think about going out at night, it's very difficult. My life here isn't much different from that of a prisoner in a cell. Just like a prison, the six of us use this bucket to relieve ourselves at night. The first one up in the morning empties it out. We're scared to go out at night. You see, our father was attacked while going to use the toilet. Everybody was asleep when he left to use the toilet. When he walked outside, thugs attacked him and wounded his eye, and he lost his eyesight. By the time we got to the hospital, one side of his body was paralyzed. It became very hard to keep him here because he needed so much help getting around. So in 2004, we were forced to take him back to our village.
As young people, we play our part in dealing with the problem of sanitation. Every Saturdays. We usually meet every Saturday to decide where to clean. Facilities kidogo kidogo ambazo tuko nazo kama broken spades. To get the job done, we use all available tools like broken spades and rakes. Hayo yote tunaviweka pamoja na kule roho yetu wa kujitolea. After we work, we make plans for the next outing. Tutakutana hiyo Saturday ingine tena tupange mahali pengine ambapo tutaenda kufagia. While we can't clean all of Kibera, we're doing what we can. God willing, it will take seven hours, but this road will take me there. I hope my father is well. In Nairobi, I'm involved in a youth group that does clean up in Kibera. The group is called Hands of Love. That's the group I work for to keep Kibera clean. I hope that someday Kibera will become a good place and that we can bring my father home and live as we did once before. The effort to clean up Kibera is supported by UN Habitat. That's all for this edition of 21st Century. I'm Daljit Daliwal. We will see you next time. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>